there are many points that are very important in choosing your life partner correctly. Points that could, e that could either make it or break it. You want to know what those points are? Watch the video. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Frank Kinigas. I am the ambassador of reading. And today's topic is about choosing your life partner correctly. And the reason why we came up with it is because when I travel to different cities, we do get couples that come up and say, how about something for couples? How about advice for couples? Or we get that single person that says, hey, any advice on knowing how to choose a correct partner? And my wife and I, we've been married for 30, uh, well, we've been married for 33 years. We've been together for 34 years. And they do come up and ask us, and you know what, I did make a minor mistake, or actually a big mistake. For this video, I think it would have been best if she was here next to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another video, and she can tell you her story from her perspective, and I'll tell you my story from my perspective, as how we met, how we developed, how we've done the trip up to now, and what we see for us in the future. So we were sitting here as a team too, and we're like wondering, okay, what's a good topic? And we did mention how that comes about in our different seminars that I give in different cities in Mexico and here in the US. And we said, yeah, you know what, let's go for it. So uh, choosing your life partner, partner, <laughs> here it goes, choosing your life partner correctly. Well, first things first, uh, where is a good place to find a life partner? So if you, I met my wife at college so I think that's a good place to find them, but you know, to find a partner, but it's not always like that for everybody. So, but how about finding somebody at the bar? Well, if you find somebody at the bar, chances are they're going to drink. And if you're okay with drinking, well, let, let it be. Uh, or maybe finding, finding the right partner at a family gathering or, I don't know, a social event. It, you must choose, where do you want to find a life partner? How about at the gym? My kids go to the gym and they, you know, they get to meet a lot of people at the gym, maybe finding a partner at the gym or at the park or jogging. But think about it, where is a good place to find a partner? And what kind of qualities are you gonna find for finding them at that particular area? Okay, well, number one, communication. Communication is very important. Communication with self and communication with others. How does he or she communicate with themselves? Oh, life is not even worth it. Oh, I don't think that I'm gonna make it. Uh, life is not worth living. How is their communication with themselves? Or wow, you know, life has so much to give. I'm excited. I'm gonna go and get it. What kind of communication do they have with themselves? Pay attention. That's a big highlight right there. What do you hear them saying to themselves? And then communication with others. Do they communicate with others? A lot of people don't communicate. They think others are brain readers, are mind readers. A lot of people think, well, I'm sure she'll understand that I'm upset, upset or happy or hungry. Well, the thing is, communication is very important. Communication saves a lot of trouble. So how is that person's communication? If it's not so well, you may want to look at it. Uh, can it be developed? Definitely. Can, can, can it get better? Sure. Uh, however, if you're not liking the way it's going, you may not want to get, you may not want to choose that person as your life partner, communication, vision. What's their vision? If their vision is to uh, merge with you and live in an apartment and fall in love and never move out of the place and then have a kid or two or three or four or whatever and expect for things to be okay in that little apartment, well, you may not be happy with that one either. What's their vision? Are they gonna grow? Are they gonna get a home? Are they gonna get investment property? Are they gonna travel? What's their vision? Talk to them about it because a lot of the times people, they merge and they, they're expecting whatever's in here to be understood over there and it doesn't work that way. What's your vision? What's your life goal? What's your life plan? Where are you going? What are you gonna do? I think that's very, very important. <clears throat> Qualities in my wife, when I met her, I met her at East LA College, when I saw her, I go, oh wow, this one qualifies. And the reason why I say that is because before her, I've, I had a few girlfriends and I would always ask myself, what is it that I want in a girl if I, want, if I marry her? 
Well, I want her to be bilingual. I want her to speak English and Spanish because my mom and family members, they all speak Spanish. I would like for her to speak English, uh, Spanish and English so she, we can pro, uh, do progress together. I wanted her to dance both English and Spanish, cumbias, and then we used to go to the nightclubs and dance. So I said, we have to be able to transition both. She has to be able to, uh, she has to be getting an education or some sort of trade to move forward in her life. She just can't be sitting. She can't be at a job from nine to five and never have any, any vision, any goals to move forward. So she was at East LA College. I go, oh, this one's really good. I got everything that I asked and in, 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 in the girl and the girl in the my life partner that I wanted all except one and I'll let her tell you about it when we merge she says Shh, don't tell them but the thing is I'm very happy with my wife I mean she's above and beyond she really supports me more than more than she supports me a lot so what kind of qualities do you want in your life partner it's very important We'll get to the, I just had a thought. We're, we're going to get to it later on. Um, what about uh, willingness to prosper? Uh, if they're not willing to prosper, if they're not willing to get a book or take a course or take a class or get out and learn, I think eventually it gets boring. What do you mean we're okay and we're not planning to go any further? I think a life partner has to be willing to prosper constantly from now until they they go their own way and that's fine working working as a team you know that nowadays companies rather choose somebody that that's maybe less qualified but is willing to work uh, as a as a team player versus individual player even in the big leagues in any of the sports they're willing to take a good player that's willing to uh, be a team player versus a player that's not willing to be a team player because they're not going to be able to win tournaments. And the companies, they know that if they have team players, they're, they're going to be able to solve problems. They're going to be able to come up with solutions. But if everybody's playing individually, chances are the company's not going to go anywhere. So be wise and choose somebody that's willing to be a team player. And when I say team player too, uh, my wife and I, we have three kids when they were growing up. We were, we're both teachers, so we would have to go do our, our jobs as teachers and then come home and then take them to the soccer practices, the soccer games. And I remember many times we, and baseball, we had a lot of uh, times where Nicholas would be playing on that field and Adam would be playing in that field and Paolo would be playing at that field. And we had to work it out. Okay, you go get him. I'm going to get him. I'll meet you over there. And we were working as team players. And that's very important. I know that some people still have, some women, mostly women, have the privilege of staying home and taking care of the family, taking care of the home, which is awesome. And so it's a little different role. But still, I think uh, definitely, definitely, it has to be a team player in other positions. Um, Non-negotiables, and this is very important. What is it that you will not take in a relationship? And you have to make sure what's clear in your mind what are non-negotiables? Like for me, she could never do drugs. If she does drugs, that's, that's going to come to a halt. Maybe we'll get her some support. And after that, if it doesn't work out, we would have to part our ways because that's a non-negotiable for me. I don't know what her non-negotiables are. I mean, I have an idea and I stay within the limits. I'm sure we all know what's good and what's bad in a relationship. So what are non-negotiables? You have to be smart about that. What is it that you're not willing to negotiate? Now, the physical part. When we married, my wife and I, I mean, we pretty much look the same. Just a few pounds up, we're older. But there's a lot of relationships where he or she, they're both looking so good on the day of their marriage. And then as time goes by, they get comfortable and they don't do exercise and they overeat and they start gaining a lot of weight. And he, he gains weight and she gains weight. And they're not communicating, they're not going anywhere, they're not growing. So eventually they decide to split, sometimes with kids in between, that's horrible. And as soon as they split, she'll go to her friends or family and say, well, I'm going to show him what he's missing out on. And then he'll go to her friends or family and he says, I'm going to show her 
what she's missing out on. And he goes to the gym and exercises. She goes to the gym and exercises. Watch what they eat. They get into a calorie count, maybe fasting. And they get these beautiful bodies. And to show on Facebook or Instagram or whatever that is. And they're showing each other what they're missing out on. But wait a minute. If we rewind, they were not missing out on that. They, neither one of them or one of them was not taking care of themselves. So I think it's very important to take care of your physical and your mental. Are you constantly growing? Are you physically taking care of yourself? Because if you're not, then come on, man. They, I think it's an unfair deal. You know, they, when they get a player from the big leagues, they don't expect that player to slow down and not do what he was doing at the other, at the other team or at the other league. They expect that uh, player to perform as best as possible. So a lot of people, I understand, they say, I don't have time for the gym. Well, watch your physical, watch your mental. Are you still maintaining at least some, somewhat of what you were in the past? Because if you're not, I think that's a little unfair. Now, my, my, for, for a woman, my admiration, because they're the ones that have the babies, and they gain weight, and it's not easy. I mean, I'm, I'm on it right now to lose a little bit more weight. I want to weigh 175 because I haven't done that in forever. So I'm just testing my body and my mind to see how fast I can do it, and I'm having a hard time. So I could only imagine women, when they have their babies, they gain weight. It must not be easy for them to lose weight. So with patience, you know, guys, come on, man. Be grateful. They give us those beautiful babies. We get blessed with those babies. So they're allotted a little bit of weight. And ladies, just don't maintain it too long or don't let it get out of proportion. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. So I'm going to review and then I'm going to wrap it up. So where do you want to find, uh, where do you want to find that life partner? Where is a good place to find a life partner? And then um, communication is very important with self and other, others. Vision, vision. They must have a vision because a lot of the times they think that the little apartment is going to be good enough and that's it. But if they don't have a vision, you may not want to hang around. Uh, the physical part, you know, it, when you get out and walk two or three times out of the week, it brings oxygen into the brain and it causes the body. Look it up because I, I, didn't, I didn't bring my details, but it causes the body to be happier, more energetic. So get out and walk. Don't just sit in front of the TV and be a couch potato. Um, willingness to prosper, willingness to prosper. And then the qualities, what is it that you want to see in her or what is it that you want to see in him? Uh, working, as, uh, as, working as a team player, working together, not alone, but as, as, as a team, because look, you wouldn't want to start a, a company, you wouldn't, start a, you wouldn't want to start a business with a business partner with just for their looks, you, they have to have, they have to back it up uh, with their knowledge and they have to back it up with their money. And when you're going to merge into a business, it's, it's important that that partner is qualified. So you want to get a, a qualified partner and then constant growth. Now, just to wrap it all up, it's very interesting that to get a driver's license, you have to go and study the book. And then if you don't pass the book, you don't get a license. Now, once you read and you practice and you pass, then they let you get into the car with, a, with, a, with an instructor from the DMV and they take you out on a ride. And if you, didn't, if you don't know how to drive, they give you hours to learn how to drive. And then eventually they go, okay, here's your driver's license. You know how easy it is to get a driver's license? You go to your city. Within five minutes, you can have a, a license to get married. I find that unfair because, look, I think to get married, it's, a, it, it's something serious. You're going to bring kids into this world. You're going to be responsible for these kids and their well-being, their mental, their mental uh, peacefulness. And it's a lot of responsibility. So I think it's only fair that they would um, give you a book, study it, and then once you pass it, well, uh, do you know about communication? Do you know what you want in your partner? Do, do you know what a vision is? Do you know how to stay physically fit? I think all that is very important. Hey, maybe I should write a book on that. 
I think that's a great idea. So before people, before people get married, I think there should be some sort of a book, some sort of a test that says, okay, you're qualified to get married. Also in, in religion, I know that we said we weren't gonna talk about religion or politics in this channel, but there are many religions that want their, their, their people to succeed in their marriage and they have classes. They have classes so that they can support you uh, about communication and about how raising their children and being in, that, in the path of that religion. And some people don't wanna go through those classes. Now, if your partner is one of those that doesn't wanna go through training through the religion, and religion is very important. If she's from one religion and he's from another religion and you're not in agreement, maybe that's a non-negotiable. Maybe you don't wanna marry that person because it's gonna be trouble. But let me get back to the, what I was saying. Um, in religion, in different religions, they, tr they, they give you classes so you can succeed. If your partner is not willing to go to those classes, maybe that's not a good partner. I'm just saying, very well, we're gonna leave it at that. Till next time, your friend, the ambassador of reading, Frank Iniguez, wishing you well today and always knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for. Thank you for watching our channel and congratulations for making it here where we give information that benefits the individual that's watching and their loved ones. I invite you to subscribe and be part of our channel, set the notifications and watch the new videos. Thank you and welcome.